Hey, it's Chelsea and welcome back to the Mad Cat Makings YouTube channel and welcome to my market prep vlog. So today is Saturday, February 3rd and my market is one week away. Um, it's a Valentine's market, but I don't really have a lot of Valentine's stuff made. Um, I just signed up for this market a few days ago, so that's part of the reason. Also, I wasn't sure how good, like, Valentine's Day stuff will sell just, like, a few days before Valentine's Day. I feel like nowadays a lot of people are, like, already moving on to the next thing, like, before the holiday happens, you know? And so... I'm thinking I will probably just make a few Valentine's Day stuff within the next week and then um, focus more on my other products. But the first thing that I'm going to do today is just go through all my inventory and see um, what I already have made and decide what I'm going to bring and see if there is um, maybe some smaller Valentine's Day things that I can make within the next week that would be good to take to my market. Um, so I'm going to get started going through all my inventory and I'll show you what I already have made. So this is kind of how I keep track of my inventory, just making little boxes on a piece of paper and coloring them in when I have stuff made. And that's how I set goals for like each season, what all I want to make. So for this market, I know that I'm going to bring um, snugglers. I have like a pegboard shelf that I put all my snugglers on. And so I'm probably going to bring... Um, all of my snugglers, I think the shelf holds 24. And so I like to have a few extra in case like something sells and then I can fill it in. Um, and then I'm definitely gonna bring the extra small plushies, the $5 one, and I'll probably try to bring around 50 of those. And I'm currently working on making some more, so I think I'll have plenty. And then for the small, I'm gonna bring bees, mushrooms, frogs, chickens, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, and same for the large, I'm going to bring all the bees and mushrooms and things like that. And then I was thinking, um, since I don't have a lot of Valentine's Day stuff, but I do have a lot of Easter stuff made that I would do like a kind of a little Easter display on my table. Um, just of a few things. Mostly I made that stuff for a market coming up in March. But I know a lot of people like to plan things ahead, like for Easter baskets and things like that. So I think there definitely might be some people interested in Easter stuff already. Um, I'm not going to bring any of my cows just because I don't have very many made and I don't want to have just like three of the same cows. Um, also, I don't think I'm going to bring any keychains just because, like I said, I don't have a lot of those already made. And I don't want to bring too much stuff and have my table be too crowded. So I'm going to get started getting that stuff together and I'll show you what all we have. So here's what I have for my small plushies. I have 10 of the Lucky Frogs. 10 small mushrooms, 10 small bees, 10 mini triceratops, 15 chickens, um, and then five little peeps. And then there's a few like cats that I just have left over that I'm also gonna bring. So about 60 small plushies is what I'm thinking. And then I'm going to bring four of these chicken eggs for Easter and then also four of these little chubby bunnies and then I have five of these um, whimsy bubs that I'm going to bring and see how those do. Right now I have 30 of these extra small plushies that I'm going to sell for five dollars and then I also have 20 um, little chicks and mallard ducks that I need to finish making so that will be 50 total for the extra small plushies. And then the last category that I have are the large plushies. I got five large dinos, six large bees, nine large mushrooms, seven large lady frogs, and three of the large peeps. So 30 total for that. I might try to make some more of the large dinos. And then I just put all of my snugglers in the bag. And I think I have, I don't know, between 20 to 25 of those. 
So that's pretty much everything that I already have made. Um, there's still a few more things that I want to either make or finish making. I have two more dog snugglers that I need to get done. Um, hot dogs, the extra small um, chicks and ducks. And then I want to work on some things for Valentine's Day. I saw some free patterns that looked really cute, some hearts, and some other Valentine's Day things. I don't want to make too much more stuff because um, I only want to take two bags to this market and they're almost full. But I think I'll have enough stuff. This is only going to be a one day market. I think the hours are 10 to 6. So I don't want to take too much stuff and have to take a bunch of stuff back home. Um, so I'm going to start working on that stuff. So right now I'm just working on finishing up some of these um, extra small plushies. I have a ton that I need to like um, finish sewing up and weaving in the ends. I have these mallard dogs and then I also have these chicks and I'm going to be bringing um, 10 of each of these to my market so I need to get those done and then I also have a few of these dinosaurs that I need to attach that I need to um, put the tails on and then I started some things for Valentine's Day I made two of these hearts um, this was a free pattern on Instagram and I'll link that one below and I think I might sell these for $20 and then I also saw on Instagram a pattern for these tiny aliens from Stitch Sister Co. And on her Instagram, she had them like attached to a little Valentine's card. So I just went online and found some free printables and I'm going to do that. And then I also found a free pattern on Instagram for these little axolotls from Loretta Loops. And then I just googled free axolotl valentine printables. And so I printed out some of those and I just need to attach them. And I think I made 6 of the axolotls and then 12 of the aliens. So that's what I'm working on right now. So for the valentines, I just hole punched them and then I attached them with these twist ties that I got off of Amazon. I think it would have probably looked better if I had rounded the corners, but oh well, maybe I'll do that next time. So here is what my booth display ended up looking like. I ended up getting a smaller grid board off of Amazon to put my snugglers on so I didn't end up bringing as many of those. And then I have the large plushies in some baskets and I ended up putting the um, hearts in with the large plushies for $18. And then I um, have the Valentine's things in these baskets that I just got them from Dollar Tree to put those in. And I got the tablecloth off of eBay. I don't know. They said to try to make your booth look like holiday themed, I guess. So that was me trying. And then I have my Whimsy Bubs for $20. And I just have a variety of the dinosaurs and the frogs with the mushrooms on top. I have my business cards. And then the extra small plushies for $5. I put those out in the front so that people could get to them more easily which ended up being one of my best sellers. Um, I have this basket for my small plushies. Um, it's pretty good since I can put a lot of them in there. And then I brought these mushroom baskets and I ended up um, having those for sale for $25. I didn't sell any, but um, they still look pretty good. And then at the end, I have my little Easter display with Easter baskets and... There was a little bit of attention for these items, but not really a lot, and you'll see later. We are on our way home from the festival. Um, I didn't end up doing as 
as well as I had hoped I would, but I think we at least broke even. The spot that we were in, it wasn't really the best because we were like off on the side, um, so a lot of people didn't even come over to our booth. And then also there was like three other crocheters at the market, so I'll go over everything that I sold and how much I made on the next part of this video. So it's been a few days since my market and I'm just going to go over um, everything that I sold and how much money I made and all of that. Um, like I said previously, my sales were a little lower than I had hoped for. Um, I think it was due to just a combination of things like being so close to after Christmas, people weren't spending as much and my booth location was a little bit out of the way. So there weren't as many people coming over to where I was. Um, but anyways, I'll just go over everything that I sold and how much I sold it for and tell you what the total was. So I sold one unicorn snuggler for $45. I sold a large bee and a large dino for $30. I sold one of the frogs with the mushroom top for $20. I sold one chubby bunny for $15. I sold two small chickens and those were $12. Two small peeps, also $12, a small bee, a small mushroom, and a small dino, and all those were $12. Um, I sold three of the axolotl valentines for $10 each, and then one of the alien valentines for $10. And then the rest of what I sold were the extra small, um, like, m mini plushies. So for those, I sold four frogs two octos, seven chickens, five ducks, and eight um, chicks. So my grand total was $398 and all of the extra small plushies I sell for $5 each. Um, they're just really quick and easy to make so that's why the price is so low for them. Also this is one of the first markets where I have really sold the extra small plushies so I don't know if I didn't have those, if people would buy something that costs more or if they just wouldn't buy anything. Um, but I'm thinking maybe in the future just to make a lot of extra small plushies and kind of focus on that more um, since they are so quick to make. That might be a good strategy going forward. I don't know. I'm going to try it out at one of my future markets and see how that goes. Um, so my grand total was $398. And then my booth fee was $125. So the total amount that I made was $273. And that doesn't cover anything like my time or materials or um, those kind of things. So that's just how much I was left with. And so that's what I made. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.